get those hands up and praise him Oh, back where I started. Never noticed this thing up here. It's um it's a res the resurrection an angel and I just thought it was strange because I couldn't figure it out when I first looked at it. But the guy that designed this thing uh, Walker Walker Hancock lived for almost a hundred years. But at any rate, uh, yeah, remarkable day today. A uh, lot of editing and a lot of uploading, a lot of just tying all the ends together. I'm kind of tired right now because it's been a long day. Um, been a good day. Uh, I switched all my schedules around uh, because for whatever reason I want to go see the Phillies game <coughs> tomorrow. And uh, been raining all day. And so all I've been doing is dodging the rain today. But I've got the everything changed around to where I'm going to go down there for the 105 game god willing and then come back in time to catch the 90 minute train from this location back to penn station and then it's only a 30 minute wait at penn station before i go to princeton theological seminary or princeton connecticut so um, very, I'm very happy. The one thing I, d I very much like about Amtrak is the fact that you can edit. Like if you some stuff comes up, some last minute things, uh, you can change the time or the day. And normally you'll get the same price as you paid initially. Not always. Um, so, but at least you can check it. So, I've. I've that feature to me is incredible. I mean, it's completely, the mindset is completely different than say if you're um, on, on a plane where you just have to go strictly by the schedule or pretty much anything else for that matter. But um, spent the day, I went over to Dave and Buster's and I'm not sure why. I. I I know why I went over there, but I don't know how the idea popped into my head. But <coughs> I took the took the subway over there and watched a couple of games, or football games for Sunday. Didn't go to church today. I wanted to go, but just the the timing and the rain and trying to figure everything out. Um, but I saw a, a, just a mind-blowing sermon from Andy Stanley. Uh, he's preaching about Christ, the cornerstone, and how it's so intricately uh, woven into Psalm 118 and uh, how all the apostles weave the, all the attributes of the cornerstone. You know, the cornerstone is the central part you build on. The cornerstone is beautiful. The cornerstone has all these attributes or all these adjectives, adjectives associated with it. <coughs> and just the way Stanley, I'm sorry, Andy Davis, not Andy, not Stanley, good grief, not that nutcase. Andy Davis for, for out of Durham where I'm, God willing, where I'm gonna end up going but absolutely mind-blowing sermon, uh, incredible, and it was a 50-minute sermon. I loved it, but I'm sure his congregation was going, all right, let's wrap it up, all right? So, good stuff there. And, uh, so yeah, I watched that. Um, I watched uh, some other stuff, wasn't all that impressed. Um, then went back over, I, I did all this over in a little, a pier, 
right next to Dave and Buster's. <coughs> Again, dodging the rain the whole time. And went back over and uh, got my nachos and my free refill and watched the Cowboys. I thought it was going to be a good game. But ended up only watching a half, one at the first half because the Giants were just a, in, imploding. And I don't know how the game ended up, but my guess is the Cowboys won. So get them up and praise my Lord. But uh, really, in the spirit today, I feel like I'm back in his will. And <clears throat> anytime I feel like that, every day is going to be a good day. So um, just praise God, praise him, and praise Jesus, praise the Holy Spirit, the triune God working together and making life worth living. So left Dave and Buster's around 10, I guess it was, and went across the street and it was raining. But I had uh, trash bags, this lady stopped, she saw me out there, and I, I put on the poncho, she gave me a poncho, uh, and I said, God bless you. Anyway, I was standing on the corner in the rain, and of course the bus doesn't show up, so I walked back to the subway, no big deal, probably the best plan because I was planning on uh, going back or going down to Citizen Bank Park and um, spending the night down there, but uh, that probably would have been a fiasco. And so the Lord just, um, without having to go into detail, led me back to just getting back to home base. But, um, but yeah, and by the way, I, having all these battery changes makes life so much easier. For whatever reason, even when I turn off this GoPro, the battery runs out. <coughs> so it's very nice to have two changes of batteries. And all I got to do is plug this, plug this thing in, which is very, very sweet. So... So I'm loving that, looking forward to tomorrow, going down and checking out the Phillies, and then getting back and, and uh, looking forward to Princeton Theological Seminary, getting over there. That should be interesting because I'm, I'm getting in kind of late, around 10 o'clock or so over Princeton, New Jersey, and I need a place to crash out over there. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. I don't think I'm going to run in, into any rain. Uh, so keeping my fingers crossed for that. And then looking very much forward to spending the entire day there in Princeton. And coming back to New York after that. I have roughly seven hour layover or so. Going to go get the bicycle, bring it back to the train station and they'd be off for DC uh, after that brief layover at Penn. So, got a lot of traveling, a lot of stuff going on, a lot to do, but very much feel blessed in the spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Get those hands up and break my life. <laughs>